Mapungus, what am I doing? We made it, Kobo Peninsula. Oh, look at that! And he's intact. 11 years here, not evolving in a duck. Check that amazing. out. Amazing! How big do you reckon he is? Walking in the tracks on a five metre crocodile. Oh, <laughs> First stop for the day, Corroboree Billabong. We're on the Mary River here. Got about an hour on the water, checking out some wildlife and birds. Beautiful top end Billabong. I think it's great. It just shows you the diversity of life in the Territory. It's remarkable. We're here in the south of Kakadu, heading into Magook. We're going to have an afternoon swim. Great place to cool off. Crystal clear water, perfect temperature. We're about to cross the East Alligator River. This is the border of Kakadu and Arnhem Land. We're about 80 kilometres from the coast, but at high tide you can't cross here. You've got over a metre of water coming up across the road. Here's a crocodile. There's another crocodile. At high tide, you can count 25 to 30 crocodiles here, all lining up, eating the mullet as they push upstream. Like yep, that's a car that didn't make it. Here we are, Arnhem Land. 100,000 square kilometres of Aboriginal owned land. They had like maybe a thousand of little babies, but inside the little small babies, like she dropped all the babies like different different area. She was dropping all that land and uh, language. A lot of people they speak different different language.
Garig Gunakbalu National Park. Garig is a language spoken on the peninsula by Arakpi people. Gunak means land and Balu means water. So the entire national park and the marine park surrounding is protected and it's all Aboriginal Arakpi owned land. Incredible place. Folks, we made it. Cobo Peninsula. Not a bad place to call home for the next couple of days. You can get down and walk along the beach. This is where we have the sunset every night. Not a bad view. Very common to rock up and have a big crocodile sitting below here. Got a few resident crocodiles. So here we are, Victoria Settlement. The British were here for 11 years, 1838 to 1849. This is the third attempt they made to settle Northern Australia. First two were disasters. All of the children that were brought here died. Every single baby that was born here died. The men wore proper British military attire, every button done up. If they had a single button undone, they could be lashed. Can you imagine the stupidity of, of 11 years here not evolving and adapting? When they first rocked up here, they rocked up here in the build-up of the wet season, but they were fresh. They put in a great job, made this beautiful big long pier, a massive cyclone came through, wiped out the pier, killed 10 people in one day, smashed all the work they did the first year. This is the busiest place in the settlement's history. Unfortunately for the settlement, that was the hospital. Look at the cornerstone work. Yeah. Just here, that lines up with this perfectly. Everything lines up exactly as it needs to. White bellied sea eagle. Where? Oh, I can see him. There, there he goes. There he goes. Beautiful. Did you see that? Binning say that both of these are edible, but this is the ones that they're after. Only this type with the flatter round bit. They're scattered everywhere here in their thousands. There's so much food in the mangroves here. And then how do they eat them? You cook Crap them on the coals and then crack them open. It's a bit like tough calamari. They tried to bring um, what they already had in the United Kingdom here and it just didn't work. Why wouldn't you take some advice off, you know, the people that were here for thousands of years? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Alright guys, follow me, come check this out. We've got to be quiet, alright? Oh, shut up! I just saw a turtle. Geez, you can see him so well. That's check amazing. That out. How big do you reckon he is? I reckon he's about three metres. Do you think this one just lives like on the coast, Dave? Eh? He'd be a resident male that sort of hangs around this bay from about probably about a headland down there to a few headlands down that way. There he goes under. It's pretty cool how you can actually still see it. Nice clear water. Oh, now he's got all four feet on the bottom. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
quite a good beach here for shells, guys. Keep an eye out as we wander along. We get prospective sundials along here, which are really pretty. This rocky reef here has a lot of hidden little crab holes. What we're looking for is a large hole that the crabs have dug out, so at low tide they can sit in the back of the hole in the water, wait for the tide to come in so they can go back feeding. Check it out. Yep, there's a crab. Yep. Got him? Go on. Go on. Yeah. Beauty. Look at that. Oh, he's a beauty. Hold him up for all to see. There we go. Look at that beautiful crab. And that only wow. took a two, couple of minutes. He's going to be delicious. Oh, we've got another one. Watch this, guys. Oh, here he comes. Oh, cool. Grab that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And he's intact. A nice easy one. Didn't even have to spear him. Just hook and he walked out. And that's how easy it is. Ta-da. That's well how we done. get a feed in the bush. Well done. We'll go put him on ice. Continue along the coast road. These beaches along the, the north coast here, all these northern facing beaches, really popular spots for turtles to nest. So the crocodiles are here feeding on turtles and then they can access the freshwater, grab a drink of fresh water and they breed up in the freshwater swamps. Yeah, there's been one across last night. You can actually see, I know he's crossed last night because it's even fresh in the middle. And we've had cars drive across, but you've still got evidence. So look at the size of that for a hand. It's as big as two of my hands. This is the large dominant crocodile that resides in this area. We're walking in the tracks of a five metre crocodile. This is where the track gets really defined. Check this out. Amazing. I never thought I'd catch a fish that size ever. I thought she was going to lose it for a minute there. <laughs> but then she came good. Yeah, it was pretty cool seeing the fish jump as well while we were trying to bring it in. Yeah, it was crazy. Hey, Queenie. Yeah, put him back, eh? Nice. Yeah, queenie. put him back, put him back. Dinner is ready. We've got beautiful mud crab caught today. We've got buttered corn. Crushed potato with dill and rosemary, steak cooked to your liking, and roasted sesame dressing vegetables. Not a bad feed in the bush. How's everyone's meal going? Oh, the steak is fantastic. That's the sound we like to hear. Fantastic. Milk in your mouth. Thank you.